Hello again, um, today I'm going to tie a beady eyed cat's whisker for you. Bit of a nostalgia fly for me. Um, one of the first flies I ever learned to tie. Uh, and through necessity more than anything else, uh, it used to be the only fly I could catch a fish with when I first started. Uh, I used to use Kamazan B175s. I've moved over now to Hayabusa's 761 size 10s. Um, they're an excellent hook, strong, every bit as good as the Kamazan. Uh, and a little cheaper. Just make sure it's in the vise, nice and secure. The thread I'm using is the Uni in 6. Just going to lash some thread on. Take off the excess, and of course, white marabou for the tail. I'm going to just take some from the bottom of the stem. I like to use as much of the feather as I can. I'm going to trim away the excess here. Just give it a little lick. And again, you can see once it's licked, you can see there's lots of stray, stray feathers. Get them out of the way, lay it on. I want to have an even body most of the way up the hook. I'm going to come all the way back just to where the barb's showing on the hook. Now, that tail's a little long for me, so I'm just going to Use my fingers to pinch the end. Like so. Um, the body, I'm just going to use good old fashioned Chanel. There's lots of different materials available now on the market that people use to tie cat's whiskers. Um, I still feel that this is, is one of the best for this pattern. I'm going to come up and about an eighth of an inch from the hook eye, I'm going to stop and I'm going to bring my Chanel up the body, touching turns. All the way up. I'm going to lock that down on the top with a couple of Holding loops, then I'm just going to take that away, move that out of the way, again I'm going to take, I usually judge my wing by taking the width of my thumb and pulling it. I think a lot of people make the mistake of trying to get too much material in there and you just don't need it. I'm going to again trim away and lick the end where I've trimmed it. Then I'm going to tie the thread on to that bit of the wing. And you can see it coming back there and I want to just hide any loose stragglers of thread there is. Now, again, the wing there is a little bit long for my liking, so I'm just going to move my fingers back a bit and pinch it away. Now you can, of course, um, whip finish it here and varnish it, and then the fly could be used without the BDI. But I've always found that the BDI just makes it work a bit better. You can buy these chains their cheapest chips and I would suggest you use a very old pair of shears or snips just to cut so that we've got two. Now lay your eye on just a couple of bits of thread to get it attached 
that's just too near the front of the hook for my liking. Bring it back a bit. And then I'm going to incorporate a figure of eight across the eye. And I'm going to put quite a lot of wraps into this because I want to build up a quite a good head. And once I varnish it, I don't want the eyes to move, especially once it gets wet for the longevity of the fly. You like it to be nice and solid. And put a couple of half hitches in there, like so. Trim away the thread. And I'm going to use some clear varnish. Quite a big drop just on the top there. Now I can leave that to dry. We've got a very mobile cat's whisker lure. Thanks for watching.